Today I thought I'd really get into the spirit of Halloween. And what better way to do that than to do a review? Yeah. I'm not gonna do a Iowa Sutterine's Halloween special. That, that would just take way too long and I won't finish in time. So you might be asking, what is this item I will be reviewing? Well, since it's Halloween, I will be reviewing one of the most scariest of items based on one of the most scariest episodes of Thomas and Friends ever in my childhood. And I will be reviewing Thomas Comes to Breakfast. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh you thought. No, no. Okay. Uh, l let me explain. The reason Thomas Comes to Breakfast, the season two episode, was so scary in my childhood is not for the fact that having a train make a gaping hole in your house is actually pretty scary, but it's because the look Thomas gives you after he breaks through the house. Now, it might not look like the look on the item here, and I know, you're like, no, Ghost Train or Percy's Ghosty Trick is the scariest of season two. No. Percy's Ghosty Trick or Ghost Train wasn't that scary because all it was was just Percy crashing into Lime and then scaring Thomas. So, but when I watched Thomas Comes to Breakfast, I actually hid under my blankets whenever Thomas's face staring at your soul comes on the TV. Because it was scary. Here, take a look. Horrors! cried Thomas and shut his eyes. The house rocked. Broken glass tinkled. Plaster was everywhere. Thomas had collected a bush on his travels. He peered into the room through its leaves. Oh my gosh, get away from me. Those eyes. He'll pierce my soul! Now, most people would say, that doesn't look scary. Well, I mean, if you weren't a five-year-old kid, you would be saying that. But when I was a five-year-old kid, and I watched Thomas Comes to Breakfast and got scared because Thomas was staring into my very soul. And this has actually been opinions of other YouTubers and Thomas fans. And, hey, I, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with being scared of... Thomas comes to breakfast staring Thomas into your soul, but it's a real shame that learning curve didn't, they didn't make their items off of that scene. And that's why I will be reviewing this right now. The so-called Thomas comes to breakfast was introduced in 2003 in the Adventures of Thomas pack. I think this rendition is very nice. I love seeing how Learning Curve exaggerated all the damage that was done to Thomas, especially the broken window frame on his smoke box, all the glass shards on his boiler, and all the scratches on his tanks. I also like seeing how Learning Curve gave him a bush that he picked up when he crashed into the house, and that they splattered eggs on his face, signifying that he just interrupted a nice family breakfast. Just look what you've done to our breakfast! Now I shall have to cook some more. Now there's something wrong with this item. The face. Now, as I mentioned earlier, I really wish that learning curve would have based their face off of the scary face in Thomas Comes to Breakfast. However, it would make sense since this item was introduced after the hit era began, and that's when the new model of Thomas came in, so they probably based it off of that face instead. Overall, a very nice item, and I'm very happy to have it in my collection, along with the paint spider, Thomas. You know, now that I think about it, this item isn't that scary. And neither is the episode at this time, when I'm past the age of five, of course. And you know what, I don't even know why I was scared of it, because it's just a, it's just a show. It, it's not real, it's not, but... Uh... What, what, uh... Um... Hmm. What the... Uh, I...
I'm do this. This is so stupid. I don't even know why it's scary. Huh. About to have breakfast. Horrors, cried Thomas, and shut his eyes. The house rocked, broken glass tinkled. Ah, huh. that's not scary. Thomas had collected a bush on his trap. What the? What the? Oh no. No, no, no. No, no. No, no. The eyes. The eyes. No!